Okay, this is like, I don't know, the fifth recording of this thing. Okay, I, I finally got my, like, my words and the things I wanted to say. Like, compressed about 20 minutes, and then suddenly I start up a stream, realize that, like, the light on my headset was purple, which means that it was muted. So I was muted the whole time. So sorry to, sorry to the, sorry, sorry to the people, two people who watched my original vlog and were confused that it had no audio whatsoever. I'm an idiot. That's been well established. I have some good points to make, but apparently I, I don't quality check everything I do. I should, but I don't. So there you have it. So I had to go through this whole thing again. So, okay, it, it's coming to the, you know, light. In many ways, that Sony is just really stubbornly against crossplay between um, the PlayStation and Xbox. Sometimes PC, um, <coughs> and, you know, there's been things going on Fortnite and all of that, and, um, I'm not sure I'm going to go into that much detail about it. Like, you've probably heard about it in other places, and I, I really want to get to the point. Um, I, I think that this is a bad move for Sony. I think that they need to consider their future with a new generation of consoles coming up. Um... This uh, <coughs> give me. This video is kind of inspired by a comment thread that I started with someone else and or started in someone else butted in and called me a uh, a retard and <laughs> as you do on the internet and it became a bit uh, this guy I think clearly just isn't listening to what half of what I said and um. Is accusing me of, of not owning a Sony f a PlayStation 4. Like, I, I'm going to play about a platform that I don't even own. I do own a PlayStation 4. Although, I think there is a bit of a point to be made that I am not into multiplayer. Um, but, you know, that's. gives me a bit of license, I think, in a way. Like, I, I'm speaking of this as an outsider. I'm speaking of this as, a, as a, someone who owns a PlayStation 4 who is concerned and not complaining, because I had nothing to complain about personally. But I'm concerned about the future of my preferred um, series of consoles. Like I, um, I have personally, um, to one degree or other, owned uh, a PlayStation One, PlayStation Two. I kind of skipped over the PlayStation Three, although my family owned one um, before I had a, I got a, an Xbox 360 for myself. Um, when I was in college. Uh, but then I went back, and, you know, I, I went to PlayStation after all the stuff I had on my Microsoft. Um, you know, with, uh, they had a number of mishaps of the Xbox One. I think the big one was that, you know, it cost $100 more. You have a piece of hardware that they ended up not supporting in the in the end. And, uh, um, <coughs> yeah. So, um... So Sony's kind of going down the same road, you know, Mark's at the, at the top of the hill, you know, Sony was kind of at the top of the hill with the PlayStation 2, and they did some missteps with the PlayStation 3, making that too expensive, um, and the Xbox 360, as a result, kind of won that generation, although the Wii kind of won the generation, technically, in terms of sales, but in terms of, like, core gaming consoles, I think that, um, the Freak 61, that generation. Um, then Microsoft was kind of at the, at the top, and they ended up, uh, you know, embracing the Kinect a little too much, you know, at the cost of making also, again, a more expensive console. Not quite as much of a price difference as between the PlayStation 3 and uh, Xbox 360, but still significant and all for a piece of hardware that um, nobody really wanted, um, you know, in the Kinect. And uh, uh, <coughs> and then they also had the whole thing of their always online DRM thing that they were experimenting with, which they 
infamously 180'd on very quickly, and, and to their credit, really, but, um, you know, there, there's been this pattern, uh, and it seems like it's about to repeat again, this time with Sony again at the top, and, um, you know, uh, I think with, you know, we have this sort of unprecedented thing with Microsoft really pushing this crossplay thing, and Sony is kind of the odd man out in this scenario, and, um, they really, uh, you know, they want to, uh, you know, they've done this thing in Fortnite where they lock people out from playing it on other consoles with that account. Um, and I kind of understand where it's coming from a little bit in terms of, like, they don't want people, you know, buying sweet, juicy um, microtransactions on Xbox One and then being able to play it, continue the game on the PS4 with a bunch of stuff that they didn't earn, didn't pay through, or didn't pay for on their platform. But, um, at the end of the day, getting those microtransactions and things on the Xbox One has more value, because you can use it on the Switch, you can use everything you earned on the Xbox One on the Switch, and vice versa. You know, and you have, you know, uh, you know, if you sign up on the PS for Fortnite on the PS4, basically locking yourself out from interacting with players on two other consoles and being able to use whatever stuff you earn on the PS4 uh, or purchase on PS4 on two other platforms. Whereas if you play it and sign up on the Switch or Xbox One, you're only excluding yourself from one console, the PS4. And sure, you can play with, with Mac, iOS, um, PC, and Android on the PS4, and that's that's great. Although, it's, that's kind of inconsistent, I think. Uh, I don't think that uh, Fallout 76 is going to have cross-play with PC, at least as far as I'm aware. Um, uh, <coughs> and it's possible that Bethesda was maybe had an all-or-nothing proposition. It's possible that Microsoft had an all or enough, nothing proposition when it came to crossplay, um, and that's the reason why we don't even see crossplay of PC for those games um, or being spoken of for Fallout seventy six. But um, I don't know. I think there's a larger issue at play with with regard to crossplay, and um, I think that you know, in order for the PlayStation Five when it comes out to have even footing with the next Xbox, it needs to have full crossplay. It needs to fully embrace crossplay. And ideally they should fully embrace crossplay on one level or other on PS4. They should not necessarily wait until the PlayStation 5 and then make it a big feature of the PlayStation 5 because um by then, you know, it's gonna be one or two years from now, uh, people will have stopped paying attention because they they've already made their mind they're going to get the next Xbox, you know because they're pretty sure that's going to support crossplay as well, and um, you know all their friends are going to be getting it. Some of them because they too have given up on the PlayStation uh, having crossplay, and um, you know there's going to be a few people, there's going to be a few outliers here and there who are going to get the PS the PlayStation Five for the exclusive games, get it because of their brand loyalty, but um, there's a few people who maybe get both consoles because they can afford it. Um, I'm probably not going to be one of, the, of those people, but, uh, you know, I, I'm going to be lucky if I can actually afford the PlayStation 5 um, by itself, um, but, uh, you know, but guess what? You know, for people who buy both, where are they going to play their multiplayer games? Where are they going to buy those sweet, juicy microtransactions that you make so much money from? Oh, wait, they're not going to buy on the PlayStation 5. No, they're not going to buy on PlayStation 5. That would be stupid. You can't use that stuff anywhere else. Like, you maybe will, you'll be lucky if you can use it on, on, on the PC and, you know, Mac and iOS and Android. Like, you know, no, like, they're going to get it. They're going to buy those microtransactions. They're going to make their primary account on the next Xbox, on, you know, the Switch or, or what have you, you know. That's where they're, gonna, they're primarily going to gain. Uh, and, and they're primarily going to spend their money. 
So you're losing out on that. Like, you know, I have, even now, I think with Fortnite, there are going to be a lot of people who are like, screw it. Like, we're not going to play Fortnite on PS4 because that stuff doesn't carry over to the other platforms I can play Fortnite on. Or at least not as many of the same platforms I can play Fortnite on. So screw that. I'm just going to play it on Xbox One and Switch and maybe PC, you know, Mac, iOS, P, Android. You know, because um, all that stuff carries over between all of those platforms, whereas on the PlayStation 4, it only carries over with some. And then I can't really use that same account on the Xbox One or Switch. So, you know, uh, you know, it, it's kind of like you know, fewer people playing Fortnite, fewer people buying microtransactions for Fortnite on the PlayStation 4. And the same is going to happen for the PlayStation 5 with, with similar games. So, uh, if they don't change what they're doing. So, um, the fact of the matter is, um, well, what about the profit? And here's my idea. Like, incentivize. And a cool way to do this, and if they could really make it work, it could also be a sort of form of of promotion if they can also make this stuff appear on the Switch, appear on the uh, Xbox One. You can have, like, Nathan Drake uh, outfits. You can have Last of Us stuff. You can have Ratchet and Clank-themed uh, loot, basically. You can, you can collect the game or fruit in my card. Those sweet, juicy microtransactions. And, um... These things would ideally be visible on other platforms. If they can't make that work, then so be it. But you know, the fact will still remain that like you can only get this stuff. You know, you can only get this loot that that is based on your favorite games on PlayStation. If you play the game on PlayStation, you know, and ideally that stuff would be visible. So like you could say like, hey, like this is stuff that you can only get on this on this other console. And hey, like there's these lots of people wearing Nathan Drake costumes, like. I hear Uncharted is popular. Maybe I should buy a PlayStation 5 and play Uncharted 5 on the PlayStation 5. You know, um... Or The Last of Us Part 3, or the... The, uh... Um... The Deluxe Edition of, of Last of Us 2 that has even better graphics. I don't know. Um... You know... Uh... That could be really useful. Uh... In terms of like, cross-promotion, potentially... And obviously, just incentivizing people to play on your platform. Um, you know, even if you can play it on any platform and still play with your friends, um, the thing is that if there is a selling point for the next Xbox, it's going to be cross-play. It's going to be that it's going to fully embrace, you know, getting on many as many platforms as they will be allowed to interact with. And if the PlayStation Five is not one of those consoles, then well, there's less reason to buy that console, you know? Because you know that, like, if you want to play multiplayer, most of your friends are probably going to get the console that allows them to play multiplayer with more people and more friends. You can make more friends. You know, um... You know, the only people who are going to um, buy the PlayStation 5 are people like me who don't really care much about multiplayer. Or, you know, people who really care about those licensed games, maybe on top of multiplayer, but... You know, the licensed game is more important than multiplayer, more important than maybe even making a statement by not buying the PlayStation 5 because you don't support that business practice. Um, so, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. Um, uh, I've, I've made this point in even less time this time. So, uh, uh, hopefully, it looks like the audio is actually coming through. So, um, I can, that's done. I can get on, play some more Chrono Cross. I was going to play at 9.30, and now I delayed it till 10. Uh, I might start early now that I've finished this, but uh, I'll be uploading it, so that's going to take a little while. Um, anyway. Um, let's go to our outro. Uh, I can just leave the Chrono Cross logo up. That's coming up next. Um, so, thanks for watching. You can follow us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. You can also do all of the things that are listed there. Like liking or disliking, even. 
Um, you can comment. Give me your thoughts on the subject. Uh, this is kind of a new thing for the channel vlogging, and I kind of screwed it up the first time. Now I'm, excuse me, hoping uh, it's fixed. I won't have to worry. <laughs> have to make sure my mic is not muted. Uh, so, uh, until next time, sayonara.